Good day. I think this is going to be an interesting video for some. Those who are interested in, you know, recording some of their adventures using whatever camera. I'm using a GoPro here, uh, a GoPro 9, and I have the uh, media mod on it, just so you know. So there's a few things we're going to talk about with this media mod too coming up. But basically, so I've been driving around for about five months, and I'm running into issues where the camera gets moved somehow, my framing's off, uh, microphone issues, and I think I finally have come to a point where I found a solution. Now I'm going to have to test it, and which we will do uh, on the bike, but how I set this up, I found one of these mounts, you can get them online, I'm not going to get into the product or who made it or whatever, they're all pretty much standard. So what I'm going to start off with now, you have to use your imagination a little bit. Now, I've been driving around with my camera basically mounted like this on here. Now, the first problem is, is that the camera is below the bottom of the helmet. Now, it's not a huge issue. However, you can't set your helmet down on a flat surface because the camera's there. So you have to set it on its side or whatever. And the other issue when the camera's down low like this if you tilt your head forward your camera goes into your chest and you know it might move or whatever and also doing sh shoulder checks you turn your head left or right and usually when I shoulder check I kinda like lower my chin and look over my shoulder so you lower your chin look over your shoulder and BAM you're going into this into your body again and that's causing issues now the other issue is uh, with the GoPro 9 you have to buy this media mod if you want to plug in just a standard mic and the place it plugs in is right here and so when this camera is mounted I'll move that out of the way when the camera is mounted this thing is the cable gets all contorted it's a pretty sharp angle and I think there's pressure on there so I've lost my audio on many trips and I think that's part of the problem. There's another issue I'll ta tell you in a, in a little bit. Not a great situation. Now, a lot of people, they might mount their cameras on the side of the helmet or on the top. The top mount, I didn't want to do that. I mean, if, it, if the results are good, I don't care. It might look a little bit silly for some or some might think it looks silly. Uh, my problem is I drive on some trails that ATVs are commonly on and there's a lot of trees and you know the trails have been kind of carved out where they're not getting trees in their face because they're lower down than I am so if I'm going through some some trees and stuff uh, just naturally I kind of have to duck my head down and again duck your head down camera's gonna get moved or the branch is gonna whack your camera not a good situation and plus you get a big view of um, the top of your well if you have a visor or a sun visor, yeah, you, it's not, you, you're going to miss a whole bunch of uh, viewing. And then a lot of people mount them on the sides. Um, I guess that's all right. Depends what you're doing, what kind of driving. But then you're also missing out. I mean, the GoPro has a very wide uh, angle. So you're going to miss out on a whole bunch of viewing because you're going to see the side of the helmet. I mean, for creative purposes, sometimes that's good. I mean, I'm, I'm not knocking it. But what I want is just like a real kind of view of what I'm seeing for my videos. And this was not working anymore for various reasons. I'm just going to get this out of the way here. I'm just using like those standard clip ones uh, with the 3M type tape that holds down the mount. And it took me a lot of humming and hawing. I'm like, I want to get rid of as much stuff on here as possible now this isn't too bad I'm talking about leverage like if you were mounting this and if you have your camera say out more straight out there's a lot of leverage to move it around you don't want that but in this case that wasn't really an issue because it's pretty much straight down from the the point of where it's uh, it's mounted so but anyways I did a lot of humming and hawing and these helmets I know there's different mounts that are probably work really well for this style of helmet but the surfaces are kind of weird on these compared to a standard more roundish helmet but anyways I finally I did lots of maneuvering around and I came up
to this spot. I mean, this sounds like all simple now, but it took a little bit of figuring and I found a spot where the, the mount actually feels like I'm pushing and, and turning and it feels really solid. But if I'm just a little bit off of what I was, of my mark here where I found it works really well, if I'm just a little bit off, then there's all, all this movement and you know, when you're putting on the 3M tape, you want it solid. Like the mount has to be solid. And so then the other benefit of putting it over here uh, for my mic jack, which I'm going to have to re, you know, reconfigure or reroute. Now it's going to be on the outside here. So there's no issue. It's going to come in nice and straight. There's not going to be any weird angles and pressure on the jack which I think was causing some issues with my uh, microphone. So it's going to sit there nice. And the other thing, just because I shortened out and I took all the other pieces out, it's going to sit so that there's not a lot of options for moving it left, right, up and down. Um, your camera's going to naturally have to be pointing up a little bit because when you're driving, um, you know, you're usually kind of like in this position so the camera will be pointing up when it's just sitting there you know on a level surface but the other nice thing again it's on a flat surface and now I can set my helmet down and the camera is not going to uh, be hitting the ground or anything so I think my plan is pretty good and as I said we're going to test this out I'll show you how to mount one of these up maybe someone can tell me in the comments but most people heat these up and I'm going to heat it up too. I'm not going to use a lighter or anything. I'm just going to use a hair dryer. Heat this up nice. I think it probably has something to do with sort of, maybe it activates the, the stickiness or the glue and maybe uh, speeds up the curing process maybe. But I think the heating it up is a very good idea, which I'm going to do. And we're also going to use uh, a little bit of this uh, alcohol clean everything make sure you go wash your hands before you do anything go wash your hands really well and then all we're going to do is come back we're going to clean this surface here and the actual mount we're going to clean this also with some alcohol if I can take this off there we go yeah so we'll clean up our surfaces really well with some alcohol and I did I found that there's just that little spot. It's uh, you have to play with it a little bit, and I found that that little sweet spot where it sticks on there with very little movement or minimal compared to like here or you know here it moves, but I found this spot right here where it's going to be pretty stable. So, anyways, let's get going. Just gonna take some alcohol and put a little bit on here and just uh, wipe off the actual mount and again make sure your hands aren't all greasy and I mean wash your hands don't put any uh, you know hand uh, lotion on or anything <laughs> keep them nice and dry so we're gonna clean that off nice so we're all good there try to dry it a bit Make sure that's nice and clean. Then also on the helmet, I'm gonna clean this up here. Now I did make a mark. It's actually scored a tiny bit, so I can actually still see it because it wiped off my uh, the ink I had on there. Get that cleaned up nice. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna heat up. Uh, I'm gonna use. Uh, so this is a 3M sticky, double-sided thing. This side I'm going to glue on to the actual mount. So we're just going to heat up this. I'm going to heat up this and I'll probably put a little bit of heat on there too. Just in preparation, so let's get going on that.
All right, it's feeling pretty hot. So let's get this going. All right, and be careful. I think you only get uh, one shot at this. So yeah, just take a few minutes and get this pressed down nice. And we're just going to let that sit for a while, let it cool off, and uh, we'll get the camera hooked up, reroute our mic, and we'll be good to go. Okay, I mounted the camera, and you know what? I am very, very happy. Super excited about this, how this is going to work. Seems like it's going to be perfect. Now, I was going to get back to this media mod uh, that's on the GoPro uh, 9. Um, so what happens, you slide the camera into this media mod, and there's a USB-C, and it's located about right here inside the, the media mod that connects the camera. To the case now what I found there's different a few different styles of the uh, I guess this is like I don't know the screw or the the bolt or whatever um, this is what I had in it and it's it's a Phillips end right here and so you can use this to tighten it I mean it's just like these ones here I can tighten them up nice this one that I have in there it does not have that it's permanently mounted so the the bolt is permanently mounted in here and what was happening, so remember, the USB-C is right here, and in some cases, and you don't even realize it, the, uh, the bolt isn't all the way in. And I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit, but I'm telling you, it's like we're talking millimeters. But So say you're going to turn this in, and if this is in a bit, let's say it's like in, it's not going to be that much, but just so you can see on video I'm exaggerating it so if it's in and you go to tighten it up what happens is it starts to bind and impact the casing here and I believe it deforms it a little bit or enough that it messes up that USB-C because I think it's a very delicate and precise thing that needs to be because it's waterproof also right so it's very delicate and any if you deform anything in here I think it messes up that USB-C so it doesn't necessarily that's not the reason well so anyways the mic won't work not because the mic's not plugged in or the connection there it's that the whole mod it gets disconnected um, I've had it many times where the camera will just mysteriously it will turn off and I think that's because the mod or something gets disconnected uh, but I've resolved that. I've just used this one with the permanently fastened uh, bolt in there. And yeah, you just tighten it by hand. In the past, because of that, and I didn't realize that this was, you know, maybe slightly out a bit. It didn't seem to tighten up that well. I couldn't get it really tight. And then I ended up having to use the screwdriver. Um, and then that would put more pressure on the case. And I think that was messing things up. So... Okay, next step, I'm just going to rewrote this mic. Um, the nice thing about this microphone, you won't be able to see it on here, but this section of the helmet, like it's a venting thing, so it's just a small microphone, and there's uh, notches in here, and, and the microphone is actually pressed. I have it fitted right in the, in, in the front here. So it's out of the way. It doesn't get in your face or anything, and all I need to do now... I need to bring this cabling. I just have it temporarily taped on here. You might want to use some Velcro at some point, make it look nice. But I'm just going to reroute this. So let me do that. Get this plugged in and uh, we'll do a quick little test.
Okay, here we are. We're just uh, on a little road here that leads to, well, it's kind of like a dead end. And depending on the time of year, you can continue on, but this goes to the uh, 401 Highway in Canada. It's about, I don't know, 100 miles. Well, no, not 100 miles. Um, oh, let me think here. Yeah, maybe, maybe about uh, 100 miles out of uh, Toronto, or around two hours. And so we're just going to go check out the 401 here and uh, see how busy it is today. Again, this is like one of the, this is basically the major east-west highway in Canada. Oh, we could start in Vancouver. There's a highway one. Goes all through the mountains. Um, goes through Calgary. Goes through, uh, what's the next place? Moose Jaw, Regina, Winnipeg. Thunder Bay. There's a bit of a branch off there, so I'm not sure what happens there. But you can end up going into then into Toronto. Um, Trenton. Kingston. And all the way to the uh, Montreal. And then from, the, from there to the east, I'm not sure where it all goes to, but right to the east coast. So the whole point of this ride was just basically to check out my new camera setup and see how everything is looking. Uh, if the angles seem proper. I can tell you right now my movement is way better. I can turn my head left and right, look down. Um, there's no obstruction, you know, with the camera. So all's good. So this is a big cornfield that they've been working on almost uh, have it all taken down that's all going to be used for uh, probably biofuel or whatever make alcohol if they wait until the fall or even winter and let it all dry out on its own before they harvest it Some big rocks there. And it is a cool day today, so a bit of a breeze blowing. It's not too much above a uh, freezing point. So, you know, zero degrees Celsius. In the States, I don't know, Fahrenheit, I think that's around 30, I forget now, 36 or. So in theory, and I have done this trail before, I'm not going to do it today because it's been raining so much, it's going to be some pretty bad spots, but so this is the 401 highway. Take a peek here. So again, we're pretty far from all the major centers, but it's still pretty busy. And uh, yeah. Lots of cars. Good turn around here. Yeah, trail might not be too bad. Perfect for ATVs. I'll just go up here. Come around. Oh, it's rough stuff, those big rocks. Need some more here. Okay, 
Yeah, it's usually kind of, if it's been raining and stuff, it gets pretty mucky around here. I usually have to go slow. It's kind of like my test road whenever I do something or, for example, checking out the camera and the mic and stuff. It's a good little, good little test road. No one's ever here, so. It's nice and sunny out today, so great day. Gonna keep my ride short today. I have to maybe get a few things done at home. Try not to get too mucky. See, there's a train up there. Oh, it's gone. Perfect. All right, folks, uh, this was the test, and uh, all is working well, I think. Well, I'm hoping. I don't know for sure yet, but uh, looks like the camera's still uh, recording. So that's a good sign. And the audio, we'll find out. GoPro stopped recording. <laughs>